three signs your relationship is over. It's Coot here, author of The Magic of Surrender and You Are The One. I recently received an email from someone asking me a very important question. They said, Coot, how do I know my relationship is over? I don't know whether to stay or whether to leave. Decisions such as these cannot be taken lightly. Decisions such as these determine the course of your life and can be very difficult and challenging to make. They take some consideration. None of us want to make a mistake in leaving or ending a relationship, especially a relationship that we have so invested much of ourselves, time and energy into. There are three signs that your relationship is over, no more, done. First, it's important to understand the nature and the purpose of relationship. Relationship, in its truest sense, isn't just for your entertainment and romance and vacations and movies and roses and chocolates and good sex, although that's great. True relationship is about your evolution. Let me repeat, true relationship is about your evolution. You attracted someone in that particular moment in time because you and that person were a vibrational match. You were resonating at a similar frequency. You attracted someone because you and that person had certain lessons to teach each other. Certain lessons to teach each other. You attracted a particular person in that particular moment of your life because you know, that person was a mirror manifestation of some aspect of yourself, your consciousness, some part of yourself. They were a reflection of some part of yourself that you most need to uh, embrace, to face, to let go of, to make peace with, to release, to integrate, to heal. Ultimately, there is no relationship out there. You are in relationship with an aspect of yourself that you attract to you in the form, in the manifestation of the partner in your life. And so when you understand that you are a soul, you are incarnating into this human experience in order to learn, to grow, to evolve, then you understand that all of life and every single situation, experience, circumstance, and every single relationship is here to serve your growth and evolution that you have attracted a person in the form of a relationship in order to learn, to grow, to evolve, to learn lessons so that you can realize who you truly are and become your most authentic self. When you understand the real purpose of relationship, it gives you a whole different paradigm, context, framework, way of seeing relationship and understanding yourself in a relationship. You know what it is, so in a relationship, it's inevitable that your, your stuff, your unresolved issues, your patterns, your dysfunctions, your, your unhealed traumas, your stuff will come up in relationship. It's inevitable, it's normal, it's natural. It's not an issue whether you're going to get triggered. You will get triggered because love will tend to bring up everything unlike itself in order for you to look at it, to heal it, to transform it, to release it and transcend it, to peel those layers away so that you can become even more authentic. Relationship can be a profound vehicle, a profound transformational vehicle for your evolution and your healing, even your awakening if you understand it. So when you understand that, your partner understands that, then you can hold each other with a different sense of loving, compassion, and understanding. And, and then you can play the real game of relationship, which is about evolution. If you come together and you grow, but maybe you reach a point, here's the first thing, maybe you reach a point in relationship where you're no longer growing. You're no longer evolving. Maybe you're no longer growing. Maybe they're no longer growing. Maybe you're both no longer growing. You're no longer growing and evolving. Maybe you've resolved many of the lessons for why you've attracted each other in the first place. And you just no, you, you're just no longer growing together. You're just no longer becoming more, evolving more, expanding more, learning new lessons. It's become stagnant. This can be a sign 
that the relationship is over, when the growth, the evolution has stopped. You see, when you come together in a relationship, you're both kind of in a similar vibration, a similar consciousness. And what tends to happen in a relationship is one person grows, that puts pressure on the relationship, another person grows, then that person grows, that puts pressure on the relationship, and then you, bo and then you both keep elevating and evolving each other. So long as you're both growing and evolving, becoming more of your authentic selves and true nature, you have a relationship. When that evolutionary process stops, stops, stagnates for a period of time, the relationship may be over. It might show that you've either learned the lessons that you need to learn or it's stagnating. First key. Number two, relationship requires commitment. When you understand the spiritual purpose of relationship, which is your growth and evolution, then you understand that it's not simply about how long you stay together. You could be together for 10 years, you could be together for 50 years, but if you're not growing, if you're not evolving, if you're becoming less of who you are, then you're not even in a relationship even if you're in a relationship. So relationship is growth. So when you look at a relationship, what it requires in order to grow is commitment. Without commitment, there is no growth. So. Even if the relationship is difficult, even if the relationship is challenging, even if the relationship is full of issues and triggers, so long as you both have the understanding of your soul's evolution, and so long as you both are committed to serving each other's soul's growth and evolution, like I commit to serving your growth, I commit to serving your growth, we commit to the process of growth that is relationship, the path that is relationship, then you have a relationship even if it's challenging. You have a relationship even if it's difficult. You have a relationship even if there's lots of triggers and stuff because you're both committed to working through it. If there comes a point where either of you just are no longer committed for whatever the reason, you may have valid reasons, but if either of you come to the point where you're no longer committed, like I no longer commit to serving your soul's growth and evolution, the relationship is over. You might stay together, but it's over. I say if that's the point, if that's the case, it's better to lovingly change the form of your relationship, restructure the form of your relationship so that you can recreate how you relate in such a way that allows more love to flow. Lastly, your relationship is possibly over if, you, if you've both shifted so radically and in different directions that you just, you're no longer compatible. Your values are completely different. You want completely different things in life. Your, your purposes are completely different. Uh, you've just become totally different people and you are clearly going in completely different directions where there is no connection, bridge or overlap in the, in the directions that you're both going. That doesn't mean you have to believe exactly the same things and have to be going in exactly the same directions because sometimes uh, your differences can be a gift. Your differences can sometimes be a portal, be an invitation to, to integrate that part of yourself that your partner represents that may be different from you. But if you're core values, if your core fundamental needs, if your core belief systems and what's truly important to you are, have become so divergent and so different that it creates conflict or it comes to the point where you feel as though you need to compromise your essence. Relationship should not mean you compromise your essence. You might have to compromise a few things, like you know, waking up at certain times, or uh, you know, going to different restaurants that maybe your partner wants to go to. But you should never compromise your essence. When you compromise your essence in order to stay in a relationship, your relationship is over because in that moment you begin to betray yourself, and in that moment you no longer have a true, authentic relationship with yourself. 
relationship should inspire, should invoke, should invite more of your authentic self, not less of your authentic self. And if this is the case, that you feel as though you have to be less than you, this may be a sign that your relationship is no longer working and it may be over. Folks, I hope you enjoyed today's short video blog about the three signs that your relationship may be over. Share this video with someone in your life that you feel may enjoy it. Make sure you go to my website, coopblackson.com. Enter your name and your email to receive a free three-part video training series on how to find your purpose. Love now.